A day after the announcement of the House dissolution, all political parties get into quick action to prepare for the general election, with the Democrats planning to fill in candidates for all the constituencies and the poor ties leading to pick Ying Lak Shinawat as its party head. Various political parties have started to unveil candidates which they are going to fill in the forthcoming general election. Ying Lak Shinawat, sister of fugitive former Prime Minister Thaksin Shinawat, has notified the opposition about her intention to become a party list candidate. She visited the party yesterday to complete her candidacy application. Pure Thai spokesman Prom Prong Prom Pong Noparit said his party will likely unveil its candidate for the position of Prime Minister by today. Prom Pong and a large number of Pure Thai MPs hinted that Thaksin had already finalized his decision to endorse Ying Lak for the top job, where she is expected to fill the number one slot in the Pure Thai party list, followed by former Pure Pandin faction leader Pracha Prom Nok. The top 10 candidates in the Pure Thai list would include the outspoken MP Chalem Yu Bamrung. As for the Democrat Party, they will hold a board's meeting shared by Apisit Wei Cha Shiwa to select candidates to fill for the election, especially in contentious areas where the party wants to clinch victory or its MPs. The Democrat Party's Secretary General Suteb Thuyak Suban stated that his party is 100% ready, which it plans to fill in candidates for all the 375 constituencies. Suteb denied any allegation that the Democrat has been pressuring government officials to help its own election candidates. He said his party has always been respectful to the rules and regulations. As for Sha Thai Patana Party, the party leader Shumpon Silapa Asha said his party will hold a meeting on May 12 to finalize their policies as well as introduce new members. The Sha Thai Patana Party has been trying to invite beauty pageants and Olympic athletes to represent it in the election. And now let's hear what Kun Su Yun and Kun Tun Satit Tap Team have their say about um, Ying Lak Chinawat applies for the Pure Thai party list in Meet the Editor. Some people are willing to bet that Thailand is going to have the first lady prime minister very, very soon. And since we're in the election mode, that will be a very hot issue during the campaign. Yes, in fact, today half of the population of the reporting <laughs> uh, people uh -huh. in Bangkok is chasing one woman today. Really? Kun Ying Lak Chinawat. Wow, Ying Lak, Thaksin sister. Yes. Uh, but she never mm -hmm. talks to the press, especially on political issues. Never. Even today, there was a story uh, uh, story in, in the media circle that she has already notified the Pure Thai party that she wants to be in the party list wow. of the party. She has to be number one on the party list. But nobody has seen her and wow. never, never heard directly from her mouth. So mm -hmm. uh, everyone is chasing this woman at this moment as no, we But this story has been around for quite some time. Why is it that today suddenly name Ying Lak became a big, big issue? Yes, it started with yesterday after the how dissolution become uh, a, mm -hmm. con a confirmed story. Right. Uh, after that, we heard that the Pure Thai Party had a high level meeting mm -hmm. in that party, mm -hmm. and they decided to make Kun Ying Lak number one in their party list. Wow. That was a, in, uh, a sort uh, story that, mm -hmm. that we got yesterday. That didn't and come as a surprise to most people. No, not at all. But today, uh, the story became even more intensified. Yes. Because the veteran of the Pure Thai Party, Kun Chavali Lata Saksili, right. he came out and tell everyone that Thailand now should be prepared to have its first female prime minister. Wow, that's really drum beating, right? Yes. And, and, and is that final? No, um, I, I, after that, two veterans of the Pure Thai Party uh, first, Kun Prat Asop Sulatsavadi said that, no, 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 it's not, it, not, not final yet. Uh -huh. And then after that, the party spokesman, Pom Prong Noparit, mm -hmm. he also said that, hey, wait, 
Let's wait mm -hmm. until tomorrow. Everything will be very clear tomorrow. Why tomorrow? Uh, maybe some uh, confirmation uh, from some Dubai official announcement, uh -huh. whatever tomorrow. Mm -hmm. They don't want, uh, somehow they don't want to make it official today. But you and I know that the person who decides is you know Taksin. That's all. Not the party committee. Right. Not the spokesman. That's or why. Not Chavarin. That's why we didn't give that much importance. Mm -hmm. at, uh, at first to the uh, to the meeting that mm -hmm. uh, took place in the Thai party yesterday mm -hmm. until it became um, uh, somehow it came out that they have decided to make mm -hmm. good luck in the party this mm -hmm. who is going to be number one on Pur Thai's party list is the most important political story for Pur Thai because that would determine who is going to be competing with Apisit Wei Chachiwa from the Democrat to tell the people during the campaign that I will make a better prime minister than the other person. Yes. So it would be Apisit versus Ying Lak if Ying Lak is confirmed as the number one on the party list yes. of Pur Thai Party. But technically, technically speaking, even though Kun Ying Lak is named as the number one on the Pur Thai Party list, it's still uh, Kun Taksin can still play around a little bit, uh, yes. depending on the election result. Yes. Which means that if some if the election result don't go his way, he yes. does, he don't like it. He he, he is afraid that there will mm -hmm. be a trouble, big mm -hmm. trouble for yes. for the future prime minister. He might pick somebody else in the party list to be the uh, prime minister candidate instead of Kun Ying Lak, just to save his sister. But it depends on how Pur Thai is going to campaign. Yes. If the campaign theme is we have a better Ying person Lak as the prime minister. Yes. What's wrong with saying we're going to have the first female prime minister? We're going to have someone who is close to Taksin. We're going to have a very bright young executive lady mm -hmm. who can be the yes. prime minister. Mm -hmm. And will make history by being the first lady prime minister. That would be a very sexy Apisi. campaign. At, yeah, Apisi yes. will become, although he's still young and handsome, mm -hmm. he will become defensive, I'm, I'm sure. A, mm -hmm. a, a pretty candidate mm -hmm. against a handsome candidate. It could be a Romeo and Juliet <laughs> for Thai politics, so who knows. <laughs> uh -huh. So, but when would we know for sure? Technically. Um, uh, technically, um, the Pur Thai Party, we have to. Uh, submit the party list uh, candidates. Mm -hmm. uh, when to, is that? To 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 the EC yeah. next, next week, uh, May 19. So uh, by then we should see the list. Uh, May 19 is the first day of the party list uh, yes. registration, uh -huh. and it will go until um, May 23rd. So. Mm -hmm. Next week, we should know for sure whether Kun Ying Lak will be mm -hmm. uh, the prime minister candidate or not. Mm -hmm. So, is it Apisit versus Ying Lak or Apisit versus who else in Pur Thai? What the name of Kun Sang Su Wan? Kun Ming Kwan. Uh, Ming Kwan. We, we, we can almost uh, just out. mark his name out. And uh, we, we, we've been hearing about uh, Pracha from Nok, which is. Uh, yes, we, we, yes. Think, uh -huh. we have another theory that mm -hmm. if it's not Ying Lak, it could be someone from a third party oh, who yes. could be nominated by Thaksin to be prime minister if Pur Thai wins really big and decisively. Yes. So it could mm -hmm. be still uh, um, something that we have to watch very closely. Yes, it, every day. It, yes, the game mm -hmm. could change all the time. So that's why it's so exciting. Stay tuned. We're going to keep you up to date every day from now on until election day.